The most important thing is your point of view. Many people can take a photo. You can set your camera to auto and take a pretty decent photo these days. But what you're saying with that photo is something really only you can do. My name is Justin Owensby. I am a fine art photographer. Although I would say I'm more of a visual artist that uses a camera. My work, I guess you could say is surrealist to a degree. It's definitely modern. I came from advertising, so for many years, everything was about consensus. You have to pitch in advertising, and a lot of the uh, development and, of an idea is not even so much about doing something that's good, it's about doing something that's not gonna upset people. So, so many good ideas never make it because they're too risky. And at some point, I just wanted to do more personal work, which led to this photography um, journey. Okay. I think six will be plenty because my model's standing very still today. There was this movie called I Heart Huckabees and in the movie there's this theme. Um, this couple is trying to find satisfaction in their relationship and they have jet skis together and they keep, you know, uh, Jude Law's character keeps like making appeals to his wife about these, come on babe, the jet skis. And I just think it's such a funny, like mo the most non-essential item that I could think of. And so I just wanted to ex exaggerate that even farther, like the most bourgeois form of jet ski, like the, it's too valuable to even use. Brad, I torched your jet skis. At my house? No, just your jet skis. There's not a real instruction manual per se on how to develop that. This is something that's helped me. I made an agreement with whatever's going on, whatever life is, I don't know. But if I receive an idea, I write it down. And at the end of the week, I'll go through them all because a lot of them are terrible. Like, I'm not saying they're all good. Most of them are not. That's okay. I don't judge it when I write them down. The point is just to write down everything. So you write down every, I write down everything. At the end of the week, I go through it with some objectivity hopefully and find out what I still think is good and then I'll pick the top two or three ideas in terms of what's the strongest and then also what I can reasonably produce I don't have an unlimited budget so I have to figure out what I think I can produce that may find an audience in the auto world they usually just do a huge softbox over top of a car so that'll cast it'll show the dimension of it, like a beauty light. And then the final art, I haven't decided yet. It's either gonna be a gray background or the same blue. It'll be maybe blue on blue. And if that's the case, I need some separation. So I'm gonna put a little kicker light here to just edge it so it's got some definition. See the highlight there? That's what... Right? So I'll need that to separate it. If this is all the same color, the same value, it needs different highlights and shadows. So it'll give it dimension. Edge light's working pretty well, but I feel like my top light is just too concentrated on the front. I need to get it higher just to make a more even light. And I might get it a little bit more on the front. I don't want it quite as moody as this. I'm gonna be shooting on four by five today, but I don't have the real pro packs that I need to shoot on that format yet. I may have those in the next year, but everything's like I'm building up, like probably most of us are, right? So you work with what you have. I have a few other formats in case that doesn't work, just because I don't really know. Like I've never shot this photo before. Okay, so three months of work comes down to one fifteenth of a second. Okay. That's it. I work with people that are the best people I can find. The guy that painted this jet ski is this renowned motorcycle painter and he's been someone that I frequently collaborate with. The same is true with my post-production. 
I work with the Icon because they are the best lab in LA. I don't wanna to have to worry about the developing and scanning. I know that that's just one less variable that I have to consider in my process. You could plan a shoot for months and use the best format possible. And if you don't get a good lab to process your, your film, it's for nothing. It is essential to have not only a good lab, but a team that you can rely on to tell you the truth about what's going on with your images to help you in the post-production process. And then if you're going to print, that's a whole other discipline. So being able to rely on someone to walk you through the different types of paper, the different printing processes is really essential to growing as a fine artist. You could take 10 years to learn these disciplines or you can work with the best people in the industry that already are experts in these fields. So that's why I work with the Icon. We don't really know the upper limits of our capabilities. So it's this continuous exploration. Like I don't really know where this journey ends. It's just unfolding as I go.